Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving together into the Bitcoin chart to go over the large medium term timeframes as well as the smaller intraday levels. I will be explaining the long trades that I am in. This is a swing long as well as an intraday day trading long position right now. I want to be explaining them to you why I'm in them, where my targets are and how I'm looking to take this over the next week. Honestly, this is another really, really important one where you just have to pay full attention because I am going to share some really important information as well as little golden nuggets along the way. Little bits of insights and knowledge that you can pick up, you know, basically so you can learn to do what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I hope that you really enjoyed the video. Of course, I'm going to absolutely love giving you this one. And uh, without further said or do, let's get into what we love and that is trading Bitcoin. So... Here we are on a blank chart. Again, if you look at this with no idea of technical analysis, you might think this looks fairly difficult to trade. You might not really have an understanding of what's going on right now. Well, let's add on our few technical analysis levels that we had from our very last video. If you know this video, which that was a pretty good call as well. We were talking about the Bitcoin pump. I was saying, is this a good short position right now? My answer was no. My answer was, I'm looking for higher. Let's wait for higher. It's as simple as that. Remain in the longs. Well, if you look at that, what was our what was our next target? It was that daily level at $41,935. 41,935. Made it clear I was in a long, not shorting yet, waiting for higher. Well, I want to add on that level now and show you the absolute perfection that, that this was. There's that daily level, 41,935. And obviously we hit into this a few times for a retracement, but this is where the, the magic was of, of the reclaim. So you can see originally we have important levels. They kind of act as resistance. We get pullbacks, but then look at this magic. We come up, one more touch, small pullback through the level. We are then through a massive resistance level. We have seen strength then above the level. And what are you waiting for? Upon seeing that strength above the level, we are granted with a nice opportunity then to long the dip once more, essentially longing the resistance support flip, not only a daily level, by the way, but also a very big high volume node within the range. And as we know, $42,000 is a large higher term time frame range point of control. So we're talking about like three big levels of confluence there, four, if you, if you count into the trap shorts that you had into the lows there as well coming together for, you know, really simply a nice play in terms of a, you know, this is obviously more of a, a, a day trade as long, I would say, but nevertheless, a long trade, if you were just aware, ready, patient, calm and collected on the levels that we've been giving. That was a very clear resistance support flip, trap shorts into the low market structure change, break out of the lower downward sloping channel that you have. And where did we move on to? As you can see here, we're moving up towards our next daily there at $44,421, which I will explain to what more towards the end of the video, um, how I'm trading on the intraday, you know, am I going to short this level? I'll let you know this. Uh, currently not in a short of that level, by the way. Um, this, yeah, this video might be a little bit longer than normal, but I, it's because I do actually have a lot of information to share. So this is basically a quick catch up of what happened with that level. A, a direct resistance into support flip after flipping it into support. Nice, nice, uh, you know, strength moving up towards our, just literally pretty much to the dollar, our, our next level. OK, so this is the smaller term time frame for you. But what we want, what I would like to do right now is bring you towards the higher term time frames and explain more the swing long position that I am still remaining within. OK, so if we hide these higher term time frame levels temporarily, I want to cast your mind back a little bit to the uh, harmonic that we're trading. OK, so this harmonic, we're going to come up to the four hour time frame. And this is a harmonic that I originally gave uh, during a trade of the week inside of the chart champions group, obviously for all the champions level members. It was originally this idea of longing it of around $35,000 and of course taking it up to above $46,000. We are ready and waiting for one more move to the downside. We obviously got that if you remember off the 886. So we had that harmonic along with our several levels of confluence for this long trade. Again, this setup was given inside of the group. <laughs> so that was uh, handed on a silver platter, I like to say. But of course, from, you know, the move up, we saw a large move up to the upside, we come back down for a retest, we saw a subsequent, well, we're obviously in that subsequent move to the upside right now. And this harmonic is still in play. For me, this harmonic is still totally valid, still in play. And of course, this gives us our target really back above a point B, uh, you know, anywhere up to around that 48, 
thousand dollar zone but of course i would be th thinking to myself let's see the reaction of, well let's, if we see a few different reactions we can be aware of the first one at around 45 400 then of course the, the bigger one at the top of b here uh moving up to the the actual target of harmonic which obviously can be in this zone you know, we actually have a fairly larger larger zone for, for point D here. But all I wanted to just remind you of is that for me, this harmonic is still in play, it's still valid. If you combine combine this with the absolute perfection of that, then, you know, this is a very high term time frame parallel channel. Um, you know, it was just fairly nice all, all the way around. Obviously, I'll just remind you so really quickly from X to A, we came up into that CC really perfectly. We then got the retest of our lower... Um, uh parallel channel once more on the a6 and obviously from this we're making our way up once more so technically speaking it's it's extremely extremely nice um so yeah that's just one thing that i wanted to remind you i am still in that long position uh this is obviously a swing trade and then we can start to think to ourselves okay is this going to reach target so this is the way i always think as a trader and this is how you need to ingrain yourself into thinking if you actually want to be profitable and consistent over the long term OK, we all know people in bull markets can make a lot of money. But guess what? When the market turns around, they generally lose everything and more. So if you want to have that consistency and not just making loads of money and then losing loads of money, but you actually are aiming for this consistency every single day, you know, smaller gains that add up and compound over time. You have to be thinking in this form of probabilities. OK, so you're always aware of potential turnaround areas. OK, let's say we have a target at fifty thousand dollars. We have to be aware of levels where price could potentially fail and drop down lower. Why? At least for that head short or at the very least or, you know, or, or potentially obviously a leveraged higher, higher leveraged trade. So we are aware of these turnaround levels and that's what we're looking at on the lower term timeframes because these lower term timeframe levels, of course, can act as significant resistance for larger pullbacks where, of course, we're going to want to be getting into those shorts. Obviously, this one, although it never hit our overall harmonic target, did end in a swing failure pattern. So again, it's a fairly easy short trade and of course it did end in a, a significant pullback but it never invalidated the overall swing trade idea so it's the same idea that we have now so if we come back down onto say a five minute time frame okay what we have going on right here and let's add on our higher term time frame levels again we obviously have this more of a I wouldn't class this as a massive, massive resistance level just daily. But of course, we have basically hit it once. We come back down to the low of our range. Of course, if you got into this short here, again, this is a very easy type of short position. Why? Because we were aware of the range that we were trading, which is basically range low into the range high. OK, you come up onto the daily, you, you know, I, I would call this as a tap. Uh, you know, we're talking about in terms of percentage, missed it by 0.04%. For me, this is a tap. And then you kind of get that swing failure pattern off the top of the range. Again, this is a short trade. And I, I did tell you, I'm not in that short anymore. Of course, this is because we've already come down to the low of the range for that swing failure pattern off the low of the range, naturally switching it into a long. Again, there's, for me, there's no need to be in that short anymore. So it's, it's a case of... Um, understanding the higher term time frame context, understanding how we're enabling that to use into our swing trade ideas. Again, we're being ready, prepared and collected for this. <laughs> you know, we're talking about months and, um, you know, then it's bringing it onto these lower term time frame levels and being aware of, hey, where is a good trade? You know, in terms of a high probability, um, you know, what am I looking for here? And again, if we have a simple range, we get a swing fair pattern at the top of the range onto the date. Of course, this is giving you an intraday short. We're not expecting a major turnaround here. If we had lost the low of this range and actually closed below it and headed down lower, could have absolutely held on to that. But upon seeing a swing fair pattern back into it, of course, we're thinking to ourselves, hey, it's really good to at least take a take profit too off of this. And I'll, of course, switch that into a long position, which, which I personally did, although I closed the short fully. Um, so that was my first overview of Bitcoin, eight minutes. Um, I, I actually want to give you a, an understanding now of how I'm going to continue to trade this range or whether I actually think it's going to break out and we're, we're going to break up higher here, which I'm kind of leaning towards, I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to explain to you why. Um, before I do that, I just want to do two actually quite important announcements, okay? And the first one here is actually just bringing love to the coaches. Um, of course, people love my analysis. And I think like, if you think back, like, I don't know, two, three, four years ago, people were obviously extremely reliant on my analysis um, <laughs> because I was obviously the main coach here. But Chart Champions has absolutely expanded and exploded. And we now have world-class professional coaches alongside me. So I just want to like share the love and remind you all that every single day you are getting updates from George. 
Obviously, today, this morning, you had an update from Victor. This is obviously for the champions level. So you have to remember that there are other coaches that are just as good, or if not better than me now, giving you updates every day. So this is just a reminder, like, like you say here, every morning, Tom Jones, an absolute legendary all star, by the way. Every morning, we get a one hour live update from Coach George at Charge Champions. You can ask questions about your technical analysis and the current price action. For people with limited time, there's a five minute video explaining today's plan. So you've got the <laughs> hour long live streams where you can ask your questions, these five minute updates for the people level on time. And, you know, for me, it's just like a proud feeling of knowing, you know, this is why I worked hard on building one of the best trading teams in the world, because no longer are people solely reliant on me. You know, if I if I die tomorrow, chart champions can live on in my, in my memory, so to speak. You know, you have the rest of the team that's going to be there for you, helping you trading alongside you. And yeah. I just wanted to like, give some lo lo give some love to the coaches, George, Mike, Victor, Eagle, and of course, trading assistant who's out there grinding every single day. Um, you know, without you guys, Chart Champions would not be at the level we are at today. And I can say, thankfully, I can learn even from you guys, um, you know, just as you once learned from me. So I recommend everybody to pay close attention to their daily analysis because, of course, their charts are very good and share so much every day. Many tips and golden nuggets and just a great appreciation post because, man, if you're, if you're in the Champions group... To just hook up George into your search. There's a guy, George, Eagle, Mike, Victor, you know, traders, they're, they're giving you so much, so much, so much away. So, uh, yeah, that was just the first announcement I wanted to give you. Let's just check on Bitcoin here. I do, I, I am actually trading this. So let's just really quickly just check this a second. Oh, yeah. Did you see this? There was like, this really crazy long position. <laughs> so this is what, why sometimes you have to be aware of the absorption. Because you see on this candle, this is a 42 million candle, 28 million longs open. And obviously price didn't move. So naturally, you, you had somebody there absorbing that with a short position. But you have to remember, that was often a swing failure pattern of the top of the range. This is your retest coming into the CC. A lot of shorts at limit. You know, this is a lot of longs opening into a limit short. And that did you know, this was the the fuel to bring you down for the swing failure pattern of the low. And then at the swing failure pattern of the low here, you can see on this on this counter, you actually had 14 million uh, negative delta with the open interest increase. So yeah, the open interest, I, I would tell you this one time, time and time again, like open interest, really, really great for the heads up on the order flow there. Um, but yeah, do you see that absorption in, into the low? <clears throat> Madre mia, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, but at the moment, yeah, we've still got, you know, we're just going to sideways range back up against that that level where the, where the exact same limit orders were before, by the way. Uh, just pretty interesting to name. Uh, and the second announcement I wanted to do here uh, was actually um, going to be talking about the news uh, that Bybit has now listed several different altcoins against Bitcoin. I know myself and many others do enjoy trading, for example, ETH BTC, Luna BTC, Algo BTC, Dot BTC, e.g. the altcoin against BTC. Uh, obviously, you can now trade against USDC. USDT and BTC. So there's a lot more altcoin options on Bybit if that's of interest to you. And of course, the second announcement I want to do here is that, well, with a lot of announcements going on here, the second announcement, of course, I was with Bybit the weekend. I said, hey, let's try and do something, uh, you know, give back to the members, do a campaign. And we've managed to actually secure 80% of the standard VIP level requirements. So if this is of interest to you, um, you know, net deposit now of only 50,000 and you're already at VIP level one. Of course, normally it's a $200,000 trading requirement. But again, if you, let's say you only have $10,000, $10,000, one trade a day, that's enter 10,000, close 10,000, you know, you don't have, you can be just take one trade a day in the month and you're already at that VIP level requirement because obviously opening a trade for 10,000, closing for 10,000 is 20,000. So, you know, you only have to trade 10 days in a month and you're already at uh, the level requirement. So I don't personally think that the level requirement's not that hard, but nevertheless, we worked out a deal so you can get an easier access into the VIP status. And that is with just really simply a $50,000 um, uh, deposit into your account uh, under our um, Bybit affiliate links. So if you're interested in that, I will leave the link down below so you can join our team. Once you've joined the team, you can then join that campaign that we've got set up. And I will know because I do not know, I do know not everybody obviously has $50,000. We have people that only trade with like $100. So for the, for the people that do have smaller accounts, I am still working on another deal with Bybit that will help basically the smaller accounts well, actually will help everybody because I'm going for a fee discount period. <laughs> so that will basically help everybody, but also people with smaller accounts as well. So keep an eye on that. Uh, I'm basically going to try and secure that for everybody under our um, that signed up under our team. So yeah, if you're interested in that, I'll leave the, leave, leave the link down below where you can sign up and join our team. Um, 
So that is all of the announcements. And now we're moving back on to what's happening here on, on the Bitcoin chart there. 14 minutes in. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So Bitcoin, uh, we're obviously in a sideways range, as I, as I kind of hinted at many times. We, we are basically within a sideways range right now. We can kind of see we have a range low. Okay, which was our original low, and actually we're seeing we're seeing these limit orders pack up at around forty four two hundred. So we kind of have this this range going on here. We can see rotation from the highs down to the lows, up to the highs, down to the lows, up to the highs, down to the lows, and now pretty much up to the highs. You know, so I got to think to myself as a trader: Is now for me a good time to long? Okay, let's actually answer two questions. Do I think price is likely to go higher? My answer to that is yes. Second question, am I in a long position? My answer to that is yes, I am in a long position. Third question, is now a good time to long? And my answer to that would be no. And this is where you have to understand time framing and context. Because isn't that confusing for some newer traders? Hey, this guy says price is going higher, but he also says now's not a good time to open a long position. Why is that? I am, yes, expecting price to go higher. I do know where I'm invalidated on that trade, by the way, and that could just be simply losing the range low. Why would I not open a long here? Well, the simple answer is we are now up at the range high. Why would I look to long a long? Why would I look to lo open a long here when I literally managed to open a long at the very low of the range? Okay, and I'll actually show you this post from last night. We were in envisaging the break of this range low. I literally told my team exactly what to do. <laughs> you know, literally plan the trade, trade the plan. What we want to see is the deviation of the range low, followed by the buying imbalances back into the range. Then we got a long opportunity, gave that 12 over, <laughs> under just actually 12 hours ago, everybody absolutely written on a plate, by the way, waking up this morning, nothing less than perfection. Of course, um, you know, myself <laughs> and many others managing to absolutely, yeah, shout out, of course, Igor did. That's the CC pool market makers for you. But, you know, we're able to get into these longs at the absolute low. Why? Because we are ready and, re you know, we were waiting for that plan last night of the deviation of that low. Okay, so then when it happens, you know, we're not hesitating. We're taking the trades. How many, other, <laughs> you know, it's as simple as that. So that would be my answer. Why, why wouldn't I long here? Well, because I long the lows. I'm not longing up in, into the high of the range. Do I think we can break the higher range? Of course, yes. But I'm, I'm not going to be longing into this. <laughs> oh, oh, let other market participants do that. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's as simple as that for me. So it all comes down to time framing, understanding the context of the range, understanding where's a high probability trade. Yeah. Of course, Deviation of the ranges is an extremely high probability trade. The stop loss is very obvious. The target of take profit one is very obvious. Okay, if I'm longing here, what's my idea? Well, the invalidation is all the way down here. We could say the target is <laughs> is where we are right now. So I'm I'm trading with an awful risk to reward ratio. Whereas when you're getting into those high probability trades, we've only not got high probabilities in terms of a move to the upside, but we've also got a very easy invalidation stop loss in case we're wrong. Again, yes, we have to acknowledge we can be wrong in trading. We need to know where I'm validations are, where our stop losses are, and where we want to get out to trade, because it's very important to keep those losses small and those winners big, okay? And yeah, that, 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 that basically, that really is my analysis. That's that's how I'm trending this, how I'm approaching this, why I am long, why I am not going to close those longs yet. That's in terms of the swing trades, okay? This was given in a champion's live stream on a Sunday, <laughs> to everybody okay within the group so if you do want these kind of heads up calls then of course this was given in the group uh not only on the swing trades like this but also in the intraday sculpt trades like this this is calls across the boards but again i do want to emphasize by the way because i know people would join if they think that um we're not a signals group yeah we do kind of give these heads up and single signals sometimes but this is not our focus you will be disappointed if you only join for that um we are a educational group we're here to empower you teach you how to read this order flow, teach you how to, you know, trade these charts, the harmonics, the higher term time frame levels, the channels, the ranges, and everything to do with trading. We are an educational group. Okay, I do these videos for the education to help you. And, you know, basically, you can change your life, period. You, I know 100% you can change your life if you truly dedicate yourself to this because... I don't see how it is. It's just period. You can do it. <laughs> There's been enough people that have done it, that have tried their best and stuck to it, that have changed their lives. So there's no reason why you cannot too. Um, you know, I believe in you. <laughs> you. You can do this. <laughs> you have the best team in the world right now alongside you, helping you every step of the way. So that is my analysis of today. If you've enjoyed it, smash that like button as hard as you can. Share it with your friends. And I will end one more time with those last few announcements. 
We do have the number one team in the world right now. That is actually still not my opinion. We are the number one trading team after the last competition. Also, we are the highest trading volume team, obviously on Bybit. So we're winning to competitions. We trade the most volumes. So we've got great traders, great whales, the like. Um, if you want to join the team, chartchampions.com. Okay, so shout out to the coaches. If you want to join our team, obviously on Bybit, you can do that. I'll leave the sign up link down below. Take advantage of the deals that we are getting you. And uh, yeah, I just suppose I'll end with this. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed. Keep your eye on that daily. Let's see if we can get the harmonic target. What's the invalidation breaking down from our local range? I truly feel I've shared a lot considering this is just a free video. I've shared a lot. I hope you've enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one. And I'm just going to say thank you, thank you, thank you. CC Paul, send their regards. I send my love. And uh, I hope you all have a brilliant weekend. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, the no financial advice um, disclaimer to end here. Cheers, everybody. Read that, understand, and goodbye. See you in the Discord. Cheers.